Sean Flyboy Johnson. This man is the WBA NABA Super Middleweight Champion, and he is here in Nanaimo to take on a man that's traveled all the way from Guadalajara, Mexico. His name is Victor Manuel Palacios. What do you know about Victor? Uh, I don't know too much about him. Uh, just like anybody, you know, he's a fighter and uh, he wants to win. You know, he's got a, he's got a family to feed, and you know, this is his, you know, this is a sport. Uh, but what I do know about him, for the little bit that I did do, is on. Um, He's got a nice little wing streak going. Uh, he's done one of his last couple fights, his last uh, five fights, I believe. Uh, very tough, very durable. He's been up here in Canada several times. Uh, he's fought a lot of top undefeated guys. You know, sometimes actually going the distance, getting them fits, and uh, you know, he seems well prepared. He usually fights that light heavyweight. Today he came in at 165, so that goes to show me he's in shape and you know he's ready to fight. And uh, I'm glad he is, you know, in shape because you know I'm ready to fight myself and I want to put on a great performance for everybody in attendance. Excellent. It sounds to me like you know a lot about your opponent. Hopefully your opponent knows a lot about what he's getting into with you. I know coming up, you've got a fight in uh, Philadelphia. You're taking on to Carlos Perez June 3rd, July 3rd. No, sorry, June 3rd. June 3rd in Philadelphia. Uh, we aren't looking past this man right now. This man from Guadalajara, Mexico, is going to give you a big test. But, of course, I like to talk about the fact that you've got a big fight coming up in Philadelphia. And what to expect from DeCarlos, DeCarlos Perez? Uh, DeCarlo Perez um, is a guy who's been on ESPN, Showtime, you know, and actually won have won numerous ones. He had a big shot, actually, um, I want to say in January, he fought in Arizona for the NABA title. Uh, he was stopped in the fourth, but um, the buildup around everything has been that, you know, he wants to get back on track. He, he's, he's claiming the reason for everything happening in that fight was because, you know, he was draining a lot of weight to make 160. So this fight's going to be at a, uh, at a catch rate of 164. So, you know, we don't have no excuses. Um, you know, he, he's saying that he feels better, stronger. He said, there's an article that just been put out a couple days ago saying that he quit his job. He was a pharmacist. And uh, he quit his job because he wants to train full time for this fight. So, you know, that just goes to show you the, the kind of level, you know, how serious he's taking it. He knows how serious I am as an opponent. And there's a lot of bragging rights. You know, Philly, you know, city of brotherly love, you know, the biggest, it's, it's the mega, omega of all fighting cities and towns. and Boxing history. Boxing history. And uh, you know what? Styles make fights. He's going to come forward. And he's going to be ready to fight and, you know, defend his hometown. And, you know, people in Philly love me since my last fight with Jesse Harden. I'm coming back there to put on, you know, performance. The name of the card is called He's Back, and it's referring to me. And that's what I'm doing. I'm there back, and it's unfinished business. Beautiful. Well, tomorrow night, this man will be part of our main event. Again, this is Deshaun Flyboy Johnson. Tomorrow night, Rumble of the Ring 2 at the Frank Crane Arena. Expect fireworks, ladies and gentlemen.